Hi everybody, welcome back to Trinity Cathedral in Portland. My name is Bruce Naswick. My name is Christine Johnson. Uh, I'm the music administrator and I sing in soprano too in the Trinity Choir. And I'm so glad Christine's here to help us to sing uh, two of the hymns for Sunday. Uh, <clears throat> the uh, first hymn for Sunday morning is uh, 423, Immortal, Invisible, God Only Wise, um, to the tune St. Daniel. And we'd love for you to join us on stanzas one and four. Um, this great uh, text by Walter Chalmers Smith, a 19th century writer, was later edited down to four stanzas by Percy Dearmer for the English hymnal. And in, it, it was in that hymnal that uh, Vaughn Williams, the musical editor of that hymnal, put the tune St. Daniel to these words. Um, and, and they have remained together uh, ever since, a uh, very popular combination of uh, text and tune. Um, the tune, St. Daniel, is a Welsh uh, tune of uncertain origin. We don't really know who um, produced it, um, who wrote it, but uh, uh, and it was called by other names initially, but now it's come to be called St. Daniel. So hymn 423. And then for our second hymn, <clears throat> we thought we would render hymn 600, O Day of God, Draw Nigh in Beauty and in Power. Um, and uh, uh, this is a beautiful uh, hymn tune and text. The text stems from, um, bo uh, both text and tune are Canadian in origin. The uh, writer of the words, Robert Scott, uh, wrote them just on the verge of World War II. Um, and so there's a, a, a certain urgency um, in, the, in the words that uh, have some relevance for today. Um, and the tune is a lovely tune that's been used with these words um, since our previous hymnal, Hymnal 1940, a tune called Bellwoods. Uh, this is by, uh, like I said before, a Canadian uh, artist, a, a musician, James Hopkirk, who was the uh, music director at St. Matthias's Anglican Church in Toronto, and the name of the street that the church is on is called Bellwoods, so that, that's the name of the, of the tune. All right, so Christine will sing uh, stanzas one and five of 600. If you have a hymn at home, please join us.
And then for our request this week, we're going to follow through on Lou Papp's idea of singing up the great uh, carol, Puer Nobis. So we'll use the version that's in the hymnal paired to uh, hymn, uh, an Easter hymn, hymn number 193, that Easter day with joy was bright. Thank you, Lou. Um, we are starting to run now out, out now of our suggestions, so if you have any more ideas, send them in via Facebook, and we'll, we'll uh, honor them going forward. See you on Sunday at 10 a.m. and next week as well. Thanks. Bye.